I thought we had two bases to do. Oh yeah, we got a base under attack. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. And then an alien craft crashed here. We can do that and that'll give us enough influence to then spread and get a base built up. All right. It's going to be rough. It's going to be really, really rough. We'll do what I can, though. First order business. Expand. I don't think I'm doing a UFO crash thing, right? I don't think so. Those missions are so ungodly difficult and dangerous because of the, the starting point being what it is. And then, yeah, mission, we have to, uh, we have to do that. Are we already heading down to it? New recruit available? Oh, perfect. We got a new recruit available, and that's it, that's all. Oh, yeah, okay, so we're already heading up to that. Good deal. We've got... Ilya. Bouton, perhaps. They are... Very normal. A bit smart. That's good. Excellent intelligence. Level 6, starting off with. Yeah, sure. If you would like to and you haven't, exclamation mark join to be thrown into the pool. I'll pick a name at random in a moment. We can get you named up. Hmm. The really good thing about you being level 6 already is your sets are already quite nice, and you still have all the training available. Really good. The game's quite generous with that. It, it expects you to lose dudes. I think I'll go for Medic first off. Get that Aliens plus one. Might bring you up to, to almost excellent with Aliens. Then it'll be doing really good damage to them when you hit them. I think I need more shotgun people for the UFOs. If they're going to continue being really close quarters, I think our plan is going to be generally going in, spreading out immediately with shotguns, and uh, see if we can, like, solo a couple rooms right off the get-go, and then hunker down there and take them out as they come in. Marty, did you die last stream? Probably? It looks like it. A lot of people have died. It's It's been a rough run thus far. <laughs> but hey, Fon Lobach, you're in. Um, does this all... It does! Only just. Like, only just. So welcome. Meat Shield's still alive? Yeah, man. I don't know if Meat Shield's... Yeah, two missions. Two missions. They're, uh, they're looking... <laughs> they're looking not very Meat Shield-y. They're looking pretty intimidating, really. Got, like, a power armor type thing and an RPG? Scary. Very scary. Okay, yeah, a lot of a lot of hard rifle ammo. Some laser we're rocking. Oh yeah, the pistol, right? Okay. Trying to jog my memory of what all we've got here with our plan and situation. Bit of training done. Zap Orange, I think, finishing up psionic training. So now you have a good observation, but poor stealth. Bit of a strange mix. And heroic with aliens. Ooh. That's going to be good. You're going to be wrecking them. It says just hitting them more effectively. I'm still not 100% sure or convinced if that's just hit chance or damage or both. And that is a planter that we're trying to shoot down. And development's done. Some sun armor. Right. Let's make... I started doing size stuff. We're playing around with it a bit, but I think for the moment, keep working on sun armor. Quite a fan of that. And yeah, we gotta do biomass analysis, and we gotta get a... A node material. We gotta do a mission on the biomass. I think any mission on the biomass, and then we do a particular mission on the biomass for the node. I think. And then we're going to be... Maybe okay with life. But it's gonna be rough. The sun armor better be yellow and sparkly. Not sparkly, but it is yellow shield. We get a cool... Uh, cool barrier around us. Ah, oh, nicely done. Only lost one.
Good deal. Had a second squadron coming in somehow, but uh, didn't end up needing it. I think... I think I might see about maybe doing... I might see about doing that. It depends. I mean, getting bases down here is not super duper ideal anyway, because it's probably going to be lost at some point anyway, because there's more fucking biomass down there. But, uh... Yeah, you can see why you would want to be getting a lot of bases in the early game while you still can. Like, it's totally calm over here. There's not a single, a single bit of anything that I'm seeing. That's why it's so important, and that's why typically you'd be delaying the Area 51 mission for what feels like ages. I think I delayed it enough, but our our missions to get more bases weren't very, weren't very great. They're all spread all over hell. We would spend days in game flying from mission to mission for a while. I thought that helicopter was a jet going full Beyblade. <laughs> Let it rip. All right, so here we are. Base defense. We start scattered out, which is fine. This is one of the reasons why it's important to have people who are actually competent. But uh, we're not that scattered out. It's nice. Eliminated at least six reticulans. Can do. How do we want to do that? Um, not sure. I think generally they'll be coming to us. So if we find... If we somewhat find a safe spot... I can perhaps see about hunkering down there. Bane can fall back. Feel free to go auto. What is it? And Zarndal. Now I get you over here for support. I think we're all gonna be falling yes, back a bit here. Yes, sir. But don't don't go too nuts though with like right. collapsing together in case they got plasma weapons. That plasma AoE. Right now, sir. Really painful stuff. Done. Yes. That's it. Double door Done. system. What next, sir? Double door and then a room and then another door. It's like a triple door. Ready. My god. These Rimworld engineers making bases yeah. over here. Yes, sir. Request an order, sir. That's it. What next, sir? Well, at least our starting spot is safe. Yes, sir. Oh, right. You got the heavy armor, so you can't actually jog or anything. Like, or anything. Very good speed. You know... Why? Oh, no, shack attack, not so- Okay, I was gonna say, you don't even have the heavy armor. Okay, yeah, good speed. But you're forced to walk because of the armor. Yeah, okay. Can't see him, sir. Can't see him. We'll step over, you take his shot. Sir. You can go burst and take a shot. Um, Thinking he's gonna rip and tear, though, a little bit. I might have to retreat with you. Oop, cover's gone. Holy shit. That dude's got quite the gun. He took you down so fast. It's alright though. You're not dead yet. Just very, very wounded. That away, pull out the med kit. Um, I'd like to pick you up too. Let's fall back a little bit. Standing by. Ready. You grab this door, you grab this door. We'll see if there's anything scary down there. Zarendal, fall back a little bit. Yes, sir. You're grabbing the med kit, you're moving up to cover. Quite a lot of healing. I think you're healing yourself. That's the one. A little bit of pixel peeking. Don't know what weapon that is. It looks like just a massive club. Uh, 
or so. And pull that out. And then you can help out. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Bit of a psi weapon going on. You know what I think I would like instead? No, what? Just a bit of a bit of frag out, how about? Huh? What is it? Yeah? Good to go. There you go, and you're switching over. Bit of a rougher throw, but it works. Then KOR, grab another one, just keep throwing them. Just keep throwing shit! Kia! Yeah, it works. This one's just got a stupid psi weapon, so it's not so bad. The armor? Is it alive? Yes. Uh, I don't think it's alive, but it is bionic. The alien weaponry and armor and craft and all that stuff, it's its very much one of those they, they grew it type, uh, type things. Hmm? Keep you guys back a little bit to keep watch behind, because I think we've got this settled. I'm hit. I wouldn't say it's living currently, but... Close to it. Alright. We good? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're good. How can I get there? By walking. How can I get there? By walking? How can I get there? I I don't know what you mean. How can I get there? I'm not I'm not sure I follow. What's the issue here? No, what? I read you. Uh. Order, sir. Huh? I'm not afraid. Okay, Sith Lord. Um. Huh? I th think your position has bugged. How can I get there? Ah, I see. Okay, you're getting up because Sith Lord is finally waking up and okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so you're just you're doing your own thing for the moment, but you should be all right. In a moment when things calm down, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. But there's a dude, something is weird here. Something is really weird. Franabezzi with Prime Gaming. 2 months on a 2 month streak. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Okay, yeah, you're good now. And now you can move. Okay. It's hard telling sometimes when you're in the uh, the first beat here. It's it's a lot slower than it seems. Your order, sir. All right. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll. You've got a weapon? Yeah, yeah, you're set up. Uh -huh. Okay. What next, sir? Okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Huh? Requesting orders, sir. No, what? Good to go. What next, yes, sir? Sir. Good to go. <laughs> that voice. Yeah, keep watch behind. Yeah, there's yet another one here. They're all just in this corner. One, two, three, four. You have to get six. One, two, three, four, five. Your order, sir. All right, getting there. Uh, can't hit him anymore, sir. Huh? Good what to go. Is it? Good to can go. Take a shot. You can take the yes, shot. Sir. KOR. Can't take a shot yet. What next, sir? Hmm. Bit of an aggressive spot. She's got a psi weapon. Next, Request sir. an order, sir. Can't hit him anymore, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Still no angle. Huh? I don't really want to get so close to him. 
hang out there a minute, I guess. Requesting orders, sir. Oh, can't hit him anymore. He's sir, nailed the, the bastard. Huh? Okay. Okay. Wait here a minute. Alien. Now we can see him. All right. A little bit of AOE, too, because of your weapon. I guess you've got... Plasma? Yeah, okay, yeah, you're rocking plasma. Yes, sir. Gotcha. So, yeah, look at the AOE going on with that. Really good. Bad, bad when they use it on us, but quite nice when we use it on them. Shredded him. No problem at all whatsoever. Enemy was critically hit 780 by blue. That's the plasma. 780 by yellow. Also plasma. Plasma is quite nice against them. Okay, yeah, end it. Get out of there. Holy shit. That was quite scary, but turned out pretty okay. KOR looks like he farted, likes the smell, but doesn't want anyone else to know he's the one who did it. Uh. <laughs> Strange. Fat old alcoholic twat. Hello, hello. Pay attention to if I need donuts. <laughs> Dude, the donuts though. Uh oh well, you'll see. You'll see. The donut dream it it fails soon. Psy blasters, laser gun, energy cells, plasma gun. So do the energy cells also work for the plasma gun? I'm not sure how that works exactly. Zarendal, congrats on level 8. My god. Give you probably perception for a bit more alien skill. Although, you know, some strength for some hit points wouldn't be a bad idea either on some of these guys. I've been neglecting that a little bit. Willpower being heroic. It's, uh, it's not the cap. It does get higher, but I can't give you any more willpower. Um, yeah, strength for you too. Doesn't give you as as much hit points. That's just how it goes sometimes. Could give you excellent psi power though. Get your alien skill up there a bit more because it's a little bit lacking. And then you with poor willpower. I'm thinking, uh... God, do we bother with that? I never know. I think I'm going to give you very good strength. I think, I think, I think. Okay. So what's that done for us? Chopper arrived. Beam. Yeah. I am joining in on the fun now. What's the horse's oh. favorite store? Old Navy. Where do pirates get their hooks? At the second hand store. Wow. D. Wow. Captain Captain D1. You too, huh? Ah god. What's a horse's favorite store? Old Navy. Where the pirates get their hooks. At the second hand store. Get it? Cause it's their second <sighs> Missionary Cairo. That is Alien Base location. Ah. Okay. That will also work, I suppose. Alien base? This is where our base will be if we take it. Did we do it? Somebody is out for a bit, healing. So we can get somebody else in. Can be, uh... Oh, I don't know. Take the armor off. Put it on somebody else. Who do I want in? Who needs a little bit of experience still? Kind of all of you. Zyver still has training? No, Zyver's ready. Zyver is all trained up, ready to go. Zyver, let's get you in here. Congratulations. Something, something, and pre-signed death certificate? No? Okay. Give you the proper armor. You are a kind of a sniper, really very good sniping.
Do we want a sniper? I'll take I'll take a sniper. That's okay. I don't know if I want to get this like anti-material rifle or if I just want to rock something a little more you know normal. Universal, universal. A hard snipers were out, right? It's just universal ammo. It's a bit how it seems. Well, yeah, except you, but I don't have much of that ammo. So I'd, I'd like to not. All right. So there's that. And then only average with rifles, so probably a handgun for ya. That is hard. But this is just, this is just better. Oops. So we'll go for that. Bit of ammo for it. That can be your weapon when we get into close quarters. And... Man, only, only 54% load, huh? Well, have a med kit. And some general grenades. Ugh, frickin' moron. Two hour meeting. What's with Lithriandal, I think, also was getting meetings like that, where they're like two and a half hours long. What the fuck could possibly be so important that it takes two hours to talk about it? I feel like if you give me literally any topic, I could discuss it in like four minutes and get a point across. And because it's not a discussion, because that's not how life works, that's just, that's how it is. I could, I could condense it into a three paragraph email. Tops. There you go. <sighs> you gave up on the game yourself. Two attempts that ended with your people getting one shot by alien guns. Oof. Sorry to hear that freaking moron. Getting one shot, though, that's a bit rough. That's really rough. Got to get some, get some strength up with that. People just need the feeling about being important. <laughs> for two hours, though? Come on. I'll, I'll help you feel important for like a half hour, but that's it. That's it, that's all. Did you, did you try playing it on easy? Frickin' moron. There's nothing wrong with playing this on easy. It's honestly tempting for me as well. It's a brutal as hell game. Can also have some summon, summon armor. This basic alien armor, we're not talking about that. I wish I could just get rid of it. Bad. It's really bad. But you've got enhanced light armor? Yeah. That's fine. The problem is meetings go off topic and before times run out, they quickly want to discuss the crucial points. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, I can see that. Like, all right, yeah, the meeting. No, yeah, real quick. Let's, uh... Okay, cool. And they somehow miraculously wrap up the entire meeting's discussion, like, instantaneously. And you wonder why they didn't just do that from the get-go. Clearly, it was possible. Dude, Eternal Squatty, I don't know what you bench in the morning, but it's nuts, whatever it is. It is really, really nuts. I'm going to give you a rifle first. And then your shotgun. What shotgun was that? Was that the, uh, was that a Neostad? Point 0.4 rounds per second. We had something faster, I thought. Point 0.5 on the cause. That looks about right, the cause. That's looking right. And let's do... a bit of switch. You're still... so strong. Look, I don't know, man. You know, maybe you get... Maybe you get this, although you're also, like, ridiculously strong. 33 kilograms, and it's only 64%. Holy shit. Don't know what to do about you. Uh... Plasma. Plasma. Plasma heavy. Throwing skill. Right. Right. But yeah, that does just use alien energy cell. So. 
Real stigma against playing games less than hard mode, huh? Yeah, that's... it's a thing. I think a lot of people are like, especially with tactics games, they're... They reason that they've played games like this before, and normal kind of assumes that you're a bit fresh to it, but if you're a veteran of the genre, you often feel like, I could probably play it harder than average people could, because I'm more experienced than the average guy. But in a game like this, it doesn't really work like that. Games like this are just, they want you dead. They don't care about you. <laughs> so sometimes easy is just how it is, especially with a game that's unfair like this one. Like it, it just is. You, you gotta save scum periodically, and you gotta play it on easy sometimes, and that's how it is. Morning, Konata. How you doing? Having a strong consideration switching you away from the handgun into uh, plasma, because I gotta get some more plasma, and plasma's wrecking them. Very good throwing, very good throwing on you as well. Let's try it. I don't think there's many things that we're fighting that are really resistant to plasma. Yeah, Super Striker as well. Universal damage 20mm grenades that that thing fires out. That's a bit spooky. I'll kill myself with it. I promise. And you've got, yeah, laser pistol. Which, that's fine. Alright, a little bit of universal damage on the sniper. A little bit of plasma going on. A little bit of hard. Yeah, that'll be okay, I think. Alien base, let's try it. Just feel the balance is way off. Transgenants are mostly harmless while reticulants with green shields or worse are just death machines. Yeah. Yeah, no, they'll they'll wreck you. The transgenants, they're they're easy. They're they're pissies. They don't have armor. They're weak to universal and soft damage. Most guns can handle that. They're child's play, they're no problem. The aliens though, you don't really want to fight them more than you have to. Like if you don a UFO, you don't have to do it. Delegate it. You don't gotta do it. There's no benefit doing it, aside from maybe collecting some more ammo. Just don't put yourself through the paces. You don't gotta. It ain't worth the risk. Holy shit. So, uh, alien base. That's... That's where we're heading. How do we get there? Let's just move up slowly. There's, a gray. There's one. Can no longer engage target. Take him out! Go with the aim shot so you can actually hit him. What is it? There's an alien! There's an, an alien! <laughs> it's alright. Melt this guy. Can no longer engage target. What is it? Can no longer engage target. A lot of us can't see him, so it? let's scoot a bit. It's just Psy stuff, which we can handle. There is another reticulin with... I think that's a laser? Now what? <laughs> Someone in here is not having a great day. They just want to go home. Regarding difficulty, Galu is saying that it's all about bravado. There's one guy in the chat that boasts that they can play it on the harder difficulty, and most streamers need to one-up the guy, and that devolves into all streamers having to play on the harder difficulty, or people just won't watch. I kind of disagree with that, because I think it transcends just the streamers. I think it's just the, the general player mentality of, I want to play this on a higher difficulty, because I play a lot of games, and I think I'm... You know, I, I think I'm capable of, of doing it. 
Rogue says the problem is that when you have games like XCOM, people find meta and exploits and play for hundreds of hours, and if you don't read up on the game beforehand and play the hardest difficulty, you're some sort of scrub. There's a bit of toxicity in regards to that as well, yeah. I think of the people that you hear about who talk about games are tending to be the people who play a lot of games and have time to play a lot of games. Thus, they're generally more experienced with games, thus they'd be more likely to try higher difficulties because they feel they're more experienced. So you run into the problem of people who are talking about games are good at games and play higher difficulty and then complain about the difficulty. So that turns into all that you hear about. But what you don't hear are the people who just play a couple hours a day every every few days while they go about their own personal life and they're just playing on easy or normal or whatever and they just they don't get involved in conversations about it, so you don't hear about it. I think for streamers specifically who play on higher difficulties and then shit on the game because it's too hard, man, are you doing a disservice to not just the game, but the gaming community overall. What was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Watch your step over here. Careful. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so slow with this armor. Shack attack, let's go! Ah, uh, Seems like we're safe here, though. Because <laughs> in general with life, what you hear in a community, it's a community. It's not a lot of people. It might feel like it's a ton of people. You know, you look at a subreddit and everybody is saying, you know, I hate the colors of this game. And it might seem like there's a lot of people who really hate the color scheme of the game. But in reality, that's not that many people. A lot of people are perfectly fine with the game and they're just enjoying it on their own time. They're just not talking about it because fuck social media, really. And uh, it, it's something that I always try to remind people and something that you got to keep in mind. Three, four, five, six, seven. Looking good. What is it? Yeah, sh shit. It's a UFO, but more. All right. However, the hell we can get over here. Let's try it. Because I don't want to be getting, I don't want to be getting got from two different angles. I hate these bits here and this weird ramping. It's so difficult to path. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, shack attack. Get that door open. I'm gonna pause a bit. Hmm? And we're gonna spread out a little, no. so we don't get annihilated by plasma right away. Ready, sir. I made it. Ready. You made it. You did it. More orders. Good jerb. Ready. I made it. Ready, sir. Now what? Awaiting further orders. Okay. That's We're it. somewhat spread out. Next, sir. Sir. Ugh. What are we after here? Six reticulans. Alright. What a strange room that is. I couldn't tell if that was like weird fog of war or something or what? Yeah, reticulants can open doors. Yeah, you're not safe just like standing by a door. They'll rip it open. They don't care. They know how. They know how their ship works. <laughs> They're aliens after all. They love doors. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. now, sir? Requesting orders, sir. Keep it nice Requesting and slow. Order, sir. Have I played Exham Apocalypse? If so, what's your opinion of it? Asks Misery. The idea of Apocalypse is great, but in its vanilla state, is pretty poor and hugely exploitable. 
with weird difficulty curves. I'm hugely looking forward to the open apocalypse that's going on to rebuild the game in the intended vision of it because there were many things with apocalypse that they weren't able to do that they did explicitly say we want to do this we want this to work this way so i'm looking forward to seeing what the community can put together for that yes sir looking forward to that a lot yeah not the greatest chance there with you how about yeah, eternal squatty run up and fire Yeah, he's just walking on patrol. He's not even paying any attention at all whatsoever. He almost took him out. Damn near. Yes, sir. Ready. Hard ammo is quite okay. Not bad at all. Shift around a little bit here. So KOR watching our flank there. Zyver watched our rank, our flank here. Switch gun because the sniper is really not what we're after here. Wow, as a whole year. I read you. Okay, yeah, something like this. I think we can wait a minute and see what happens. Praise the sunset, tier one, 12 months. Thank you very much. Praise the sunset for a year. Grats on the one year badge. Welcome, Commander, or Captain, or, uh, whichever it is, I'll never remember. Ready, sir. And step up and fire. Ben can stay put. What is yeah. It? Yeah, we're okay. Not as much damage from the burst as I would have expected. Okay, hey, I don't Cav. Welcome, welcome. Alien base woes. Very frightening. Just waiting it out. Now what? Ready, sir. Standing by. Yeah. Let's switch the two of you. I copy. That's a risky spot, but I'll try it. You should be able to see him from there. Good to go. And then shack attack with snapshots. And you can do a little bit of a lean. You really can't see him. Alright, well how about here then? That went well. I read you. Watch out yes, for that Rot row. Zyver spotted one. He's got a pistol, maybe. Yes, sir. Oh, you need to reload. Reload. Step up. And get ready to fire. Van Ken, run over. Now what? Zyver, I think maybe step up, stay in burst fire mode. Rip him to shreds. This doesn't look good. I think it looks fine. He's dead now. Shredded him. Don't mess with the personal defense weapon, yo. I made it. Ready, sir. What now, sir? See about kneeling there too. You found the other channel. Do you want me to update the links? Yeah, go for it. The uh, the below the stream link. There is the, I think, Social's command on Nightbot. I think I've also got linked. May or may not be uh, the correct one. If you would, please, that'd be really cool. Thank you. Hey, I don't look Zed. Just lurk today once again. Not in the mood to chat. Hey, that's fine. Take it easy, man. It is fine by me. I read you. Your order, sir. A bit of a reload with you guys, too. How many do we got to get? 
six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just four, huh? We might have to move out a bit. More orders. I made it. That's it. That's it. A little bit of exploring with you. I made it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I made it. That's the one. That's it. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> My God. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop. I made there. What is it? Requesting orders, sir. Standing by. I made it. Keep you there to watch our back. Zarond all over here too. The three of us. That's it. Who will we can? What next, sir? What next, sir? What do you spend a hundred thousand channel points on? All of the ads, which freaking moron. I still have to do ads for you. What I need, mean, sir. Because I've forgotten twice now. Requesting orders, sir. That's it. What I mean, sir. I'm thinking they're on the other side of the base. Orders, sir. This side's looking pretty okay thus far. That's it. What's next, sir? What I mean, I mean, sir. What I mean, mean, sir. Yes, sir. What is it? What is orders, sir? Ugh. Yeah, sure, I guess. Your orders, sir? Here comes a gray. There we go. There's one. I can't hit him anymore, sir. Can't hit him. All done, sir. Are you sure? I can't hit him anymore, like sir. Are you sure? Hmm? That's no longer possible. That's no longer possible. Your orders, sir? I can't hit him Where anymore, the... sir. I can't hit hmm? him anymore, That's sir. That's no longer possible. Really? Can I, like, force fire? Oh, I see. There's this crud in front of the table here. All right. Right now, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. That's no longer possible. That's no longer possible. I'm, I'm in trouble. trouble. Yes, all right, sir. Well, that. Still no. Quite now, sir. Hmm. It's all busted now, though. Where were you standing that you could see him? What? Alright, just back out. Back out, reset it. Oh, Ready, sir. Ready. This dude's got some nasty, uh, nasty stuff. Not a fan of that. Let's switch. <laughs> And then heal a bit. There we go. That's the good stuff. What is it? I'm ready what next, to sir? So if he's over here, Alien. Yeah, he's walking up. Yes, sir. I copy. Does he like fire? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, now you can shoot. Hostabus can shoot. You can frag out. Whoa. Yes, sir. I can't see a way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Finished. What now, sir? Ready, sir. I'm ready. That's a much bigger range than I thought it would be. What now, 
now, sir. Plan completed. No route to destination. I think we just gotta kill one more. I see an alien. Yeah, shit. All right. Good to go. Yes. More orders. Zarndok, can you? I read you. What Can't really see your line here. Okay, yeah, you're good for all that. Run up and take him out. Yes. You just start shooting. Shack attack can lean over and start shooting. Hosta bus, you're gonna also just have to start shooting. I know you're hurt, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. I copy. And you'll have to switch and maybe also shoot. That depends. All right. I think that's the mission over. Yeah. Phew! Man. Tough environments. Really, really tough environments. I'm glad there weren't many people with a... with a plasma. Ugh. Yeah, Twilight. Twilight is the event. That's That's when everything had gone bad with this world. Basically. The birth of the transgenus and everything like that. I imagine all the aliens having plasmas and rocket launchers. That was your experience before you rage quit. Yeah, the rocket aliens? They ain't great. They blow each other up sometimes. That's cool. It's nice when that happens. <laughs> Doesn't happen much, though. It's usually you getting blown up. Let's try... But your alien skill is so bad. Awful intelligence. Please read a book, Eternal Squatty. And then Bane can. Mm, looking fairly okay overall. I think strength could be fine for you. That'll be aight. Psionic rockets? Ugh. That sounds bad. That's an afterlight thing? Sounds terrible. Troops returned from the mission near Cairo, but it was too difficult for them. Okay, that was one of the things that I delegated. And because we took out the alien base, we get to take it, which means that there's still a cache of goods that is found. Probably nothing too wild. Accuracy International, L-115AE. Universal damage type, 160 damage on it though. That ain't bad. A little bit quicker, better range, it's just a straight up upgrade from the HK PSG-1. Also lighter. Alright, sure, a 45 capacity as well. Wow. Okay, I'm happy to have that. Also a flamethrower? <laughs> oh yeah! Shooting up with napalm, 3,600 damage, 1.7 round per second, rate of fire. Range is pretty pissed. Alright, alright. Happy to get a flamethrower, that's cool. And we got the base, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's returned to base because this has turned into a military base, new mission near Cape Town. Capture a live transgenic specimen. I'll delegate that, go for it. Down here, I don't really care too much about. Pretty yucky there. And I can delegate that too, because we've got this area already. No problem. Some military bases, huh? Change you over to engineering, change you over to research. Because yeah, I don't care about down there too much. This is going to be lost. Lost soon anyway. New mission near Moscow. That's a good sign. <laughs> Soldier training. Yeah, soldier. Good basic one to get. You're eligible for sniper, marksmanship, observation. Observation, maybe. 
What else do we got? Shack Attack, Psionic? Yes, please. That's a good one. Grenadier is also a fairly okay one. Launcher's throwing capacity. I think you could pass on that, though. I'll go for the sniper on you. Because we still got a couple people spare, then. We can get Meat Shield back in there, too. Ove with a gifted sub to demand with gun. Gifted 121 thus far. Ove, my god. Thank you very much. And demand with gun. Grats on month number 18. <laughs> a lot of... A lot of months for never having actually subbed. I think that's all pure gift subs. Am I wrong? Am I... My camera's all... Busted. There we go. I'd hold up, but it would only, like, press up once. That was very strange. Uh, and you are Capture Transgenant. You're not in the territory yet, but soon. Base of Moscow's been lost. Yeah. Yeah, no, that happens. Okay, carry on. Stop for a minute. Enemy infiltrating. Go there and eliminate. I kind of feel like delegating that. Kind of feel like delegating it, but I'll uh, I'll accept it. We'll give it a shot. Sith Lord, get on in there. Take off. All the armor. I guess the helmet can stay on. We got plenty of those. Have some sun armor. And then... Plasma. Also plasma. Some hard ammo. Universal ammo. And that's Psy. Yeah, alright. Yeah, fine. Good luck. And another sun armor is done. I'll queue up another one. Just keep pounding it out. For now, it's the best armor we've got by a pretty decent amount. So yeah, this is just a go and kill. Six transgenants. Could be some pretty terrifying things here, though. As we've seen before, transgenics are getting a little bit spooky. If you do a base mission in the gunk, you don't get it. I don't think so. I think the biomass, when it consumes a base, that's it, that's all. The base just stops existing. I think you can get it back eventually with some research but that's gonna be a while for now moscow is gone deleted it's a shame six transgenants six transgenants Expand towards NA yet. I'm doing what I can. I'm at the mercy of the game and its missions currently. There's not a whole lot I can do. It's not like I can, you know, dictate a specific direction to go. You do get them. Okay, I wasn't sure if if eventually through, uh, through research we learn a way that we can potentially get them back. I wasn't sure. But while the biomass is there, you the base is gone. You still hurt? Yeah, you still hurt a decent bit, even with the shield. Alright. Alwa, holy shit. That really stings. Uh. Oh my god, Zap, you're the slowest medic. I need a dude who just runs with medkits, and that's all you do. Is you just swing medic. Ready. All done, sir. 
Yes. Your orders. All right. We found one of them at least. That's good. We spotted a plectron. Plecton. Plecton. Plankton. Let's blast it. I made it. Chia. It won't be very effective. I think it also completely missed. Yes, sir. For that, I would want fire. Huh? Reload. Yes, sir. Now what? Or or laser. Orders, I think sir. laser was also okay what for then, them. Sir. Your order, sir. See if I can be a bit sneaky with the sniper rifle and pick on it a bit. Hey, Although. Ooh. I think it's too close. Orders, sir. Yes, sir. Not a great angle there. How about if you step up a little bit? Holy shit, this thing's just machine gunning it out. Look at it go. Uh -oh. Here comes trouble. Oh, there's a second one over there. Ready. Hmm? Do I have incendiaries? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna run Eternal Squad you over quick. Chrysalis as well? Oh my god, okay. Zyver, I need you to change target. Focus that Chrysalis. Rocket out. Rocket hit. That's one down. Yes, sir. Okay. And it is currently trying to zap ya. Your order, sir. That looks like a very fun and interesting angle. Ready. What kind of an arm do you got? Not great. Not a great arm. Coming through. The rocket missed. But it was such a fun and wild angle. Alright. Hmm. You still working the chrysalis? Okay. I don't really want to move up until the chrysalis is down. <laughs> Ready. Because Ready. then we're just going to get blasted by a plecton. That might work. It's got good range. We've learned this many times. Chrysalis is down. Okay, go, go, go. What is it? Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, reload. Reload and scoot. Eternal squatty. Keep your fire out, maybe. How's that for a double tap? There you go. Fire burning it down. Okay. Thankfully, plectons have fuck all accuracy. I always forget if it's the gobbers that are really inaccurate or if it's the plectons that are really inaccurate. Is that person equipped with a crow instead of a gun? <laughs> Which person? <laughs> Could be. Yes, sir. Requesting orders, sir. More orders. That's it. All right. Next, sir. I'm pretty happy with waiting a bit. We got one, two, three, four down. Five down. No, four down. This is a gun. You can swap. Joop, joop. Plasma guns. Yeah, the plasma guns do look a little, a little bit like a bird, like a head crab thing. I see it, though. You got, like, the feet and then, like, the head and beak and then its general body with a wing and there's the tail. I see it. 
I see it. Huh? Requesting orders, sir. Ah, oh, that's a reload button. Good to go. All right, I guess we move out a bit, huh? Your order, Fine. Sir. I'm moving out together, though. Now what? Oh, Request an order, sir. You know what I would like is a gun that shoots out bees. Bees are very strong in this. Speaking of which... Hmm. Now what? Yes, sir. Everybody run. Meat shield, just get around this corner. Your orders, the three you cancel. Just run down the alleyway. Your orders, sir. Just go. What is All right. I don't know what kind of range it's got. I'm wondering if I can pick it off from afar. I'm here, sir. That's it. What next, sir? I just need to see where it is. Who's got the best observation here? Yeah, very good. Alright. You're way too slow to dodge it. So, Zyver, you just, you gotta spot it. Come on. That's it. What? What? That's it. Dude, you're blind. Okay, no, you see it now. But it... It can shoot at you from here, right? Watch out. Uh, okay, there's a second one. You were a little bit slow spotting it, it turns out. But it looks like this might be okay. Uh, snipers, ladies and gentlemen. Good riddance. Good riddance, indeed. Yeah, heal bees, technically. They do heal damage, believe it or not. Med kits do negative heal damage, which is why your health goes up. They do heal damage, which means you can't really mitigate them at all whatsoever, making them one of the most dangerous things in the game, I would say. Yeah, and? God, you kidding me? Two wounds, but nobody needing recuperation. And two levels. Zyver leveled. I think agility to get you up to average. You should be eligible for some nice training then that way. And then Sith Lord. Uh, maybe, maybe strength for a bit more health. Let's try it. Strength for a bit of health. Okay, some training done. Oh, yeah, speaking of training, I need to check and see what you're eligible for now. I will go for psionic for a bit of that psi power boost. Always a good one to get. You can see how quickly this spreads, really. Still not back to base. Now we're back to base. Yeah, soldier now. For only handguns, though, sadly. Damn, I thought it'd be a little bit more than that. Grenadier capacity throwing launchers. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. We can get, like, shack attack or so in there, then. Joop. Oh. Joop. And zap. As well. And then meat shield looking very chonky. Okay. A new recruit available as well. Sarah. Level 6. 
Pretty normal. Low intelligence on this one. But, uh, that's okay. We can fix you up, make you really good. Very good handguns right off the bat, which I'm not too pleased with. You like handguns, like the, P the personal defense weapons and all that stuff, they're really cool for up close and personal. But I'd kind of prefer the rifle for shotguns, because shotguns are also really good up close and personal if you get a semi-automatic one. And because it's rifles, you can still use plasma stuff. Handguns? I I don't know. Plasma handgun, if, if that's even a thing? They just have laser pistol. Not sure. I mean, good throwing at least, so you could still- because the plasma is throwing, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, so it still works, I guess. And you'll be getting a bit more through Grenadier. Yeah. Give you scout training, and we will name you... Hopsqueak. Welcome. You're in. Good luck to you. Mm, still lowland, it says. For the vegetation. A laboratory UFO. Yeah, go for it. And mission near Moss. Okay, it fell off and it proved too difficult for them. Okay. Yeah, fine. It dropped off. Planter! Yeah. Yeah, get get that. A new mission there, Moscow. Serious setback. Stalingrad's been lost. Okay, stop. Stop everything. We have... Landed enemy craft in the biomass? It's a planter. Landed in the biomass. We need that. We need to head out now for it. However... Let's land the UFO. So... Look man, this armor, it's too fucking heavy. Too heavy. You get to deal with enhanced light armor? Good luck, meat shield. Honestly, good luck to you. You're really cool with launchers, but... Yeah... The biomass thing slowly spreads, takes over everything, deletes bases that it touches. Overall, an unpleasant time. We're about to do a mission there to investigate what it's all about. At least get a little bit of a hint for it. What do I give you? You suck with everything but launchers. Ah, big stretch. Like, you're kind of bad with everything except... I guess with good, like, I guess with a warp weapon. A warp weapon? God, I wish. Plasma gun. I guess you're... decent with it? I guess, because it's like a bit splash, so maybe. A grenade launcher, I'm not too keen on. The damage is quite low, and it's universal damage, which their shield's gonna eat up. It's not gonna be too great. And with it being indoors, nah, that should be fine. You'd still be able to get some okay range out of it. Now nah, I'll stick with the plasma gun. Oh yeah, flamethrower. Right, we have a flamethrower. This is gonna end horribly for you. We'll try this. We'll try it. Burst fire. Shoots a little bit quicker. Shorter range. I guess aim shot's the way to go. Maybe. Mm -hmm. God, good luck. And then, yeah, the Psy Stinger. Uh... Sure, we'll try it. <laughs> and then a couple crows. A hard rifle, and then you'll be getting the PDW on the second part of the map. Sure. Well, no, it's throwing. What do I got for rifles for alien stuff? 
the laser gun. Laser gun wasn't too great against their armor though, I think. Yeah, mitigates 25%. Still better than going with kinetic things. That could work. That could work. Alien laser gun. The riffle. Sure. Meat shield's done with alien shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, going at the flamethrower and burn them all down. I think it's a good plan. Zap orange with average speed. Ugh. All right. That's okay. Can't we build our own laser guns? We can research energy cells and make ammo for it, but otherwise, no. I don't think so. In the next one, I think you can. But we end up we end up jumping over laser and also plasma, and I think we develop our own line of stuff down the road to combat them. So mission. I was doing just delegate that, yeah. No, we'll, we'll move out for it. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. We gotta do good on it. That'll help a lot. Cause I'm not gonna get many chances to take out a mission on the biomass this early on, and I need it early. The earlier the better. I mean the plus side is like the longer it grows, the higher the chances of getting a mission on biomass. I just don't have that luxury of waiting. Pops is... Aren't you still training? You're still training. Benken. Pasta bus. Von Lobach. Yeah, okay, nothing. Just a bit of waiting. Okay, they're all ready and good to go. And landed craft. At night, on the biomass. What is it? Pretty sure I need to build energy cells for laser projects to be buildable. I, I could be. I could take. Could take a look at it. Fucking go! We're here. Biomass. By the way, not a whole lot to see on this one because it's just a, a craft. Okay, so far so good. Next area. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what? <laughs> Good. Run! Get the I out of this room. What route are you going? Yes, sir. Pew 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 pew. Oh, can't hit him anymore, sir. Hmm? Okay. Uh, hmm? That's no longer possible. Eternal Squatty also can't. It's a weird spot to be. More orders. Oh yeah, Zaver, you gotta switch. My bad. Yes, sir. But yeah, you're shooting shack attack. Yes, sir. Can't quite fit. You gotta you gotta scoot up a little bit. Good so shack attack can scoot over. And then not Zyver, yes, sir. but maybe KOR. I'm hurt. All right, light him up. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> you don't sound hurt. Well, like your feelings are hurt. How many did we got to kill? Seven. Ah, oh, shit. Your orders, sir. That's a bunch. More orders. Start moving in. Yes. We don't want to be out here. What next? Quest in order, sir. That's it. It's too many Quest angles order, to watch. More orders. Just everybody in. Everybody get in. Get in good. Okay. Yes, sir. Switch back to semi-auto for the accuracy. <sighs> Oh, 
hard to resist making certain jokes as to what the biomass actually is because it's an aftershock spoiler. Yeah, all all questions will be answered. The game's the game's nice about that. There's enough lore and story that everything's talked about and mentioned. To to a fairly okay amount of detail. Pull back the curtains. What do we got? A reticid dork. Yes, sir. Okay. Now what? Yes. Like nobody can see this guy. Oh, can't hit him anymore, sir. Ready. Yeah. That would be a yeah, no angle with you. Order, sir. All right, we got. Yeah, three. Can I move? No. Okay. Yeah, the three people with plasma shooting. That's what matters. Eh? Oh. Yes. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Meet shield. Get him. Uh -oh. Oh, what next, sir? Can't even see him now. Requesting orders, sir. That seems good. Yes, sir. Can you do that again? What next, sir? Crit for 1800, crit for 585. Pretty nice. Downside though, you're already out of fuel. <laughs> that goes quick. But boy oh boy, you've got that side covered. What next, sir? Good to know. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. <laughs> the VO is amazing. The VO was fucking terrible. Don't don't say it. The voices are god awful. Now <laughs> what? Eventually, it just becomes a noise, and you can ignore it. Yes, sir. All done, sir. Sir. Eventually. Good to go. Request an order, sir. What do we got here? All done, sir. Okay. Ready. Yes. Oof, what happened to you? Request an order, sir. All right. Awa. Oh, wow. Took a good hit at some point. What next, sir? More orders. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Hmm? Uh? Yes, sir. Your orders, sir. Now what? Shit, Lord. Ah. Uh. Yes, sir. He's got the voice. Your orders, sir. Now what? Oh, yes, order, sir. 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 That's it. Ready. Dude, someone's going Your nuts order. with a chainsaw outside. What next, Ready. sir? Done. What? Ready. Ready. Done. Your order, sir. There might be a murder happening out there with the chainsaw right now. Ready. They're having a hard time yes, cutting sir. through whatever that is. Wow. All done, sir. Ah, there's one. Ready. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> with a psi Ready. weapon. What a nerd. Yes. Sir. Coming around? Is he shy? Yeah, and uh, you shouldn't be able to hear it. They're really going for it, though. I think I know what it is. I think it's the the city taking out some of the branches of this line of birch yes, that we've got out there. Ready. Oh, hi. He is sort of coming along, I guess. He's got just a side weapon, so I could probably just walk up and obliterate him. Ugh. Yes, sir. Really? All done, sir. Good I can't believe you've let him stun lock you. Ready. Really, both of you. All three of you. How? Yes, sir. Okay, K O R, come here. What? 
this one guy. Uh? I'm gonna get you. That's not him. I see one, a gray. Seriously wounded by KOR. Okay, yeah. Just shoot the ground there. There we go. He's out of here. Get over and hug the wall. Uh -oh. He's working on you. We're gonna... How are there's two of them? Two people are co oping this chainsaw battle out there right now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna work our way around and uh, see what we can do here. What next, sir? That's it. What is it? Yeah, I think the dude back there tag teamed and uh. Yeah, helped out with that. There's no way one guy just like pop, pop, pop. No way. You are not that smart to be able to manage that. Now what? I made it. What next? Like yeah, stun one dude, two dudes maybe. Yeah, sure. But you ain't doing all of them. Fuck you. Huh? You. You see him, though, no? Okay. How about... What next, sir? How do you... Eh? Well, I'm coming for you, you shit. I hope you're ready for it. What's your smarts like? Okay, only, only good psi power. How... Oh, you're unloaded. Damn it. That explains so much. Okay, and he's got a friend here. Uh -oh. So... He's out of the way. Now you can get him, or... Yeah, alright, now we got him. Yes, thought I had you guys come up to. What is it? Yes, All right, good work, everybody. We've done it. Order, sir. What next, we sir? did it finally. Alien. There, there's another one. You, however. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's the sound I make when I get hacked. <laughs> uh oh. Did that not reach him? Uh, can't yes, hit him anymore, sir. What next, I've sir? I guess not. Huh? What next, sir? Order, Dude, these sir. angles are all fucked up. What yes, next, sir? sir? What next, sir? Get him! <laughs> what next, sir? <laughs> Immediately. Let's flattened him. Good deal. All right. End to finish. Five wounded, but nobody has to recuperate. We killed four and capacity to three. 3,688 experience. I think this counts for doing a mission on the, on the whatever. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. But we'll see. Hoo-ah. I, I do not remember the ships being so bad. I don't. Maybe I'm remembering Aftershocks ships or something like that. I don't know. Oof, yeah, willpower? Perception? You need, like, everything, K.O.R. Go with perception. And then meat shield. Uh, let's fix that awful agility of yours to give you a poor agility. A little bit of speed would be tremendous. Yes, please. Okay, nothing new popped up there. 
research wise. Yeah, okay. Let's see. When the chopper gets back, we might be okay. Completed training, yeah, yeah. Let's go with... Yeah, sure, Grenadier first. All right. The dude, like, way up there. I forgot we were chasing a guy. This is an observer, I think. It's a big boy. One escort down, one fighter down. Second fighter down. Can we solo the rest? Holy shit, he did it. This keeps happening. Or it's just like one dude just goes ahead and cleans up everything else. Yeah, wow, well, way, way up there. All right, and sun armor. But, so let's go for energy cells. You think I have to do energy cells? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Energy cells. Laser pistols, laser rifles, plasma shotguns, and plasma rifles. Yeah, okay, wow. Yeah, you ain't wrong about that. Okay, energy cells. Shit, let's do it. My bad. Maybe we can make something. I thought you leapfrogged over at least laser into something else. Q8? What is that? Enemy infiltrating? Ugh, just delegate it. I'm sure you've got it. This guy. Gah. I really wish it wasn't a crash UFO. I'd like to do that for a bit of influence up there. Ah. Think about it. Get that chopper back. Energy cells are done. It looks like an uphill battle, but we're thinking we can produce something much like the alien energy cells. Some experiments to that effect have already been conducted under the Dreamland project. We can reproduce the storage material easily enough, but we need to find a way to reproduce the superconductive wiring and packaging material. Should we work on it? Yes, and we've done that now. So you can do... Yeah, laser and plasma stuff. Okay. Power cells, alien power cell, which don't have yet. Aircraft armor need reticulant debriefing, which we don't even have any idea on at all. Oh no, we do a bit. We need the report on Dreamland Archives, which we're still waiting for the mission for that. Mm, biomass repulsors. Need the biomass growth theory for it, though. And the growth theory needs known material and analysis. Let's try plasma riffles, how about? Although if we do... Okay, it doesn't matter. If we do shotguns or rifles, it'll make it a bit easier for the other one. We'll just go rifles first, how about? Plasma riffles, yeah, that's it. Ruffles. Other brands are available. And Chopper's back at base. So does that mean we can do now... Biomass analysis! Fucking great. I'm glad that worked. That makes it a little bit nicer for me. We do that. I think... We'll be able to then get a node mission. Capture a live transgenin way the f out there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe and capture transgenin for researchers there too. I'm delegating these. It it honestly, it's a higher chance that they'll be able to auto do it. It'll be a better chance than if I try to do it because I'll with my luck I'll crit the thing and do just insane damage and kill it. And a planter. Yeah, absolutely intercept that, you kidding me? Eurofighter Typhoon. What are we intercepting with? Delegate that, please. I'm gonna delegate that too, good luck. They probably won't be able to do that. Where are we intercepting this from? Get out oh, down there. Get up there. 
And a bit of soldier for hops. This is how you hold the gun. That's the trigger there. No, no, no. That's a shoelace. Etc. Etc. Final mass analysis. The results are truly frightening. Some areas of Earth are breaking out into massive growths. <gasps> they absorb and process sunlight into energy much more quickly than any known organism. They grow so quickly and so differently from Earth plants that even the strongest herbicides have no effect at all. What's more, they don't seem to be biologically related to the alien standard technology. We don't know how to fight this yet, so it seems best to avoid it if possible since the areas around these growths are populated by much larger numbers of transgenants. It's as if they are drawn to this stuff. We call it the biomass, since it seems it's determined to draw all of the biologic material on Earth to it. Into it, rather. When did I spawn your attempt at learning guns? Could have at least sent you around so you could buy me a coffee. Ooh, coffee. I have that. That's over here. And it actually tastes kind of good, even though it's a nasty burnt bean coffee. Uh, new coffee machine with a different roast setting. Well, not roast setting. Different brew setting. Very nice. So biomass growth theory we can do now. Which, wait, we have... Wait. Okay, am I dumb? Biomass node material. I thought that was a separate mission that you needed to do. You get a mission that's like, oh, there's a biomass node thing here, and you go there and you do that. Am I drunk? Maybe. The UFO counted. Huh. Hey, nice. Two for one. Man, guys, we might have a chance then. We might actually have a chance, because it was a rush to not just get the mission on a biomass, but then also get the biomass node mission in a reasonable amount of time. <sighs> New information about Project Dreamland has become available, Commander. Apparently there is a nearly intact base in Russian steppes. Capturing the base and discovering its secrets could prove to be a major boost to our research efforts. We recommend that this be incorporated into the overall strategy, Commander. Yeah, and we have to do that. This is going to be one day, 15 hours, and then we can do the report. And then when that's done, we can do the reticulant debriefing. And when that's done, we can do... Wait, biomass growth theory. No, that that's enough already. We can just go straight into biomass repulsives afterwards. Okay, guys, I think we have a chance here. We don't know where the base is yet. Okay. I think we have a chance. That that landed UFO there was like oh, so clutch. It was I love this video. This is the type of video that, like, EDF soldiers would watch in training. It's so shit. <laughs> no, it took out one escort. That'll make it a little bit easier for the other guys. And mission near Thule. And the Azores again. And Stalingrad. And the Planter. And Jesus, give me a minute. Look at how many ships we got going around. Ariana, I, I suppose. Weren't you, weren't you going up? I don't know. So pilot stranded. We can see about it. We've got that's a base. Alien base. And secret Soviet base. Okay, cool. So there's that. Hmm. I'm not going to delegate that. They'll probably lose. I've got a better chance doing that myself, I reckon. The pilot up here... I think I do this first, because that should be not too horrifying to manage. I would think. And I'm going to go ahead and give you... We can try the Super Striker and see how it goes. It's a throwing skill thing, and your throwing's not as good as launchers, but you're still 
They'll still fairly okay. Wait, wait, 12 capacity on these. Wow. All right, well. Enjoy, I guess. We'll see how it goes. And armor-wise... Have your sun armor. Look at that, a full... A full compliment. Yeah, we're working on the research. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check right after this. EGF! EGF! Commander, we should equip the skull jack on one of our soldiers so we can hack God an advent it. officer. God fucking damn it. No! No! Good thing I don't have to worry about like skulljacking something or like taking taking an engineer or 12 live. Man. Hateable Vermin tier one nine months. Hateable Vermin, thank you very much. Congrats on the promotion. I want to change your equipment. I'm not sure about side power on this. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see what happens. And that is universal damage. Plasma laser. I think I give you a normal rifle for this. Because we're fighting transgenics and stuff like that, so I don't want to, you know, screw myself over by having a uh, Command, bad ammo type. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. I don't even, I don't even know what that one's from. It sounds familiar. But I don't know what it's from. Thank you, Cav. <laughs> I'll, I'll exercise some restraint. A little bit of restraint, though. Just a little bit. Not too much. I don't want to go too soft. XCOM 1? The fuck they say that there? Yeah, maybe. I mean, was it the XCOM 1 that I never played that the rest of the world did? Enemy Unknown Dr. Valen? Okay. So not the one that I played. Not not XCOM one, XCOM one DLC. <sighs> I'm thinking XCOM two may have said that too. It sounds familiar because I never played the DLC or watched the DLC or know anything about the DLC. I gotta check it out one day. But I think I heard it also in XCOM two when I blew up like a sectoid or something and it it just vaporized its stuff. All right, and a marksman, yeah. Let's do it. Need some more space in the chopper. T uh, plasma rifles are done. Oh, okay. Uh, need some more space in the chopper to evacuate mission targets. Oh yeah, right. Somebody gets to sit out. So, um, zap. Enjoy. You get to sit out. And then R and D. Research is going. 66%. 13 hours left. And we did just then... Plasma rifle, I think, right? We just did. So we can do plasma shotgun then. And it should be a bit easier because we've already done our rifle. And if I go to... the silence is a little bit strange. Yeah, plasma rifle. Look at this guy. Goddamn. Maybe plasma was what I was thinking of. The jump over laser to develop our own stuff and that being plasma. I thought it was another weapon type, like, between the alien plasma and warp. There's like a little line of stuff to research, but... Jeez, oh who knows what I'm thinking of. 500 damage. 1,000 capacity, 10 second reload. Oh yeah. Hybrid energy cell. Okay. So there's that. How's the biomass spread? Was it wait for a minute or a hundred? It's pretty garbage. But, um... We've made, we've made quite the advancements, actually. We're in a pretty significantly good spot currently. We did a a landed UFO on the biomass, which counted two missions in one, which is perfect. It's exactly what we needed. So we can do the biomass growth theory right now. When that's done in 11 hours, we can work on repulsors, which will be a new base type that we're very much going to be using. Some more training is finished up. Looks like. 
That's all the training. Good deal. And this guy, with one of its escorts down, can we manage it? Easily, no problem. We lost no aircraft. Okay. So, so I make a good location for it. Hey, it's not an alien base. Wow. I, I might jump over and do that real quick before I even drop the pilot off, just to make sure I get that before they do. And then uh, down the UFO, I'll delegate that. I ain't the one. Are you kidding me? Heck no. Heck no. Should be getting this area pretty soon. And the alien base, yeah, we'll see about doing, I guess. Okay, man, the music is really not happy today, is it? Biomass growth theory. Our research indicates that the strange liquid we found in a captured UFO is indeed responsible for the biomass growths. It can mutate an animal's nervous system into a structure resembling a miniature biomass node. Larger nervous systems mutate into larger nodes, and animals with more complex brains mutate into stronger, healthier nodes. These nodes grow like neurons, forming connections with adjacent nodes and creating a densely branched structure resembling a macroscopic neural system. Transgenic research has shown that biomass transgenics perform specialized functions that seem to be coordinated by the biomass itself. This leads us to suspect biomass could be susceptible to, uh, to cyanic attacks, just as our brains are susceptible to the cyanic attacks of the greys. Calling them greys now, apparently. I don't know why. Another thing we learned is that if you destroy a node, much of the surrounding biomass will die. It will eventually be replaced but destruction of nodes dramatically reduces the local growth rate. <sighs> so, after some much needed work, we can get a theory on the purpose of the biomass, but we have to do the Dreamland stuff first, do the project to read it basically, and then get a debriefing on the reticulants, and then we can see about doing other stuff for now. We can just sit and wait. I'm going to quickly jump over to biomass repulsors. We've noticed that the biomass is cyanically active. It has many of the same structures the aliens use in their psi weapons. It might be a faith fruitful, faithful, fruitful avenue of research to pursue if we tried using psi weapons against it. Start development. I've clicked it nine times. Ooh, and down pilot. I hope he's quick. I hope it's a fast pilot. I'd like to just like run up to the dude, touch him, and then just have him sprint back. But he is... Ho, oh, he is in a bad spot. Okay, who do you got for speed? Do we have anybody who's like really super quick? I might have to just leave him here. <laughs> excellent, excellent speed on shitlord. Excellent also an eternal squatty. Okay. Drop those. Sure, Lord, you head up this way. Eternal squatty, you head up this way. What is it? Hey, what's that? Man of War. Okay, stop. Hmm? Stop everything. Meat Shield, you're going this way. <sighs> Don't go over there. Oh, fuck, it's firing. What is it? Zyvert, step back. Step back. Oh, it's okay. What? Yes, Alright, Meat Shield, keep firing. Right there. Yes, sir. Uh. You're very quick. I wonder if you're quick enough. You are very quick. Let's yes. try it, but Eternal Squatty, I think maybe you just hang out a minute. Just 
I am invincible, he yells as he runs across. Ah, uh, good stuff. Your order, sir. Keep it up, Ulri. Don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Critically hit for 720. Okay, the Man of War is coming up. We can... Take a little bit. Ready. Yeah. Huh? I don't care if it's not a great chance. Just try it. Yes, sir. Done. What next, sir? I've spotted the enemy. Car crab. What's that doing here? What's a car crab doing here? All right, fall back a little bit. Quick now, go fast. Sprint, you fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Man, this pilot, you couldn't have downed yourself in a worse spot. Well, you could have, actually. Um. Yeah, we working on this guy? Everybody know. Keep up with Hello it. There. Hello, Proofaraga. Yes, sir. How is life? How are you doing? Fire again. I mean, you've got you've got the ammo. Just keep it up. Good to go. You're doing good. Okay, Man of War is down. Ugh. Dead now. We'll see about that. Something else dead. Did you get the... Mm -hmm. The death bellows dead. In order, sir. Yes, sir. Not sure how that's gone. There is another death bellows. What is it? Over here somewhere I can spot. We can see about sniping it. Fuck, it's still alive here. What? You kidding me? I'm blowing the hell out of you. Your orders. Alright, still nothing there. Just very, very healthy. Become speed! Fall back! <laughs> Your order, sir. Reload. <laughs> the chrysalis there too. Your order, sir. Um how can I get there? Yeah, alright, so there's that. And it is shooting at you. Ooh, you don't have any fire grenades or anything fun? Ah. Holy shit, dude, he is so upset with you. Keep running. He is like wicked mad. Yes, sir. And yeah, you can light up that from from super duper far. Huh? And you can just keep doing that. What next, sir? Yeah, you got out okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. We're not sure in the situation of that. S something. Something took a big hit. Crit for two thousand two hundred with you. You might have gotten the death bell is dead over here. Sir. Hey, what that? What is that? What do you see? It's the chrysalis still. You can take him out. That's fine. Eternal Squatty is a bit frozen. It is okay. There's another car crab over here, or it's maybe the same one. I don't know. Come around and see if it's a different one. Here for 312. <laughs> uh, meat shield got crit. Okay, so you're frozen. Just what is it? Finish him off. Your order, sir. Requesting order, sir. 
Watch out. He's down. Sounds good. We spotted the car crab with Zyver. Yeah, all right. We're still frozen, which is super not cool. Yes, sir. Ready. Can't see him, sir. Yeah, I can't see that. Step up a bit and try. It's coming this way as well. Oh, where'd that one go? Uh, yeah, if, if you can fire, then fire. It seems a little bit confused, but at least you can advance now, shit lord. Requesting order, sir. It's just kind of standing there taking it. I'm fine with this. That would be a waste Request of bullets, in order, sir. sir. Does this game work on modern PCs? Yes. Yeah, quite well. Um, the GOG version and also Steam version both work quite okay. Though I am forcing this into windowed mode. There's a, a launch command that you can put in for that. I think normally you can play it without that, but recording-wise I have to do it windowed. But, uh, yeah, no problem. No rebinding of the controls, so you gotta get used to that. After light, though. Yes. Um, totally okay. Alright, let's try putting this away and pulling out your gun. You might have to see about soloing. Yeah, no, you're gonna want to do that now. You might have to solo this guy. That car crabs down. What next, sir? It is just walking up, though. You might be okay just waiting. What next, sir? More orders. Huh? You still frozen over here? No, I think More we're orders. I think we're okay. Yeah, we good. Only issue I'll we'll have with this game is that the graphics are fixed at 1024 by 7 CCA. Yeah, but I think without launch, like, command line property changes and stuff, you're okay still just to play. It's just gonna mess with your monitor resolution a little. But it still launches and stuff. That's no longer possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? More orders. All I need done, sir. What next, Request sir? Request orders, sir. Okay. Is that it? Order, keep, sir? keep firing, like, for a yes, while, sir. and then you can reload and also keep firing for a while, mm -hmm. and you can still fire, and you can also fire, and just get it, get it dead. Oh, Jesus. All right. Order, maybe, maybe fall back a little bit. What next, sir? It doesn't hurt too much, usually, unless it crits, but I don't think it ever misses. What is it? I don't know why they just stop firing sometimes. Phew. Huh? Okay. What next, sir? Pilot. Yeah, no, no, no mod needed or anything like that. It's uh it's fine enough. <laughs> uh, pilot, pilot, you're in like the worst, worst spot, man. All right, at least the whole group we can move up. We can move up. We can take the opposite side of this thing. Just fall back and wait a minute. How can I get there? Request Maybe reload and reload and reload. Did you turn into a transgene? And yeah, the man of war was our pilot. No wonder it went down. Another car crab here. What is it? There are another car crab here. Yes, sir. You don't see it. It's probably for the best. 
We gotta get this dead quick so we can get over to the Man of War, because I think the Man of War was moving up the shitlord. What is it? Oh, Oof. You attacking? Oh, can't hit him anymore, sir. No chance. Sir, I need a reload. Why? Well, well, then reload it then. Sir. I, I reload it. What? How are you already out? What? I gave you so much. Okay, well. Oh, can't hit him anymore. Sir. No, yeah, you do the manual lame. Just target there. It's close enough. Jeez. And then no scoot and shoot or scoot and That's shoot. No Why? Why is it impossible for you? That's no Why? <laughs> Look, Shack Attack's doing it. What is it? And Zyra's doing it. Why are you two being complicated? That's no longer possible. Fuck, I don't know. Just move across then. That's no longer possible. What next? It's picking on you. Your order, sir. What next? Just keep shooting. We'll just soak order, it then. Sir. That's what fine by me. Dude, the line of sight here, it's so hilly and weird. Blue spotted a death bellows. Oh, wait, you're still alive. Did you shoot? I'm gonna assume you hit. Then KOR, take a shot. You guys stop a minute. It's a bit dangerous over there. Eternal Squatty shoot, KOR, it's firing at you, so you get to continue moving. Finished. Okay, now it's dead. Hmm? And we get to figure out where safety is for you. Under fire. Yeah. Yeah, I know it. Okay. Boo! Okay, meat shield is kind of out of ammo. Hmm. Hmm? What is it? Medkits? There we are. Drop some of these. Your order, meat sir. shield can pick them up. Requesting orders, sir. Yes. And then squatty head over. Done. Get a bit of healing, and then yes, you can sir. step off. I made it. Your order, sir. And it. You can put the striker away and have a couple grenades. Yeah. Melee attacks except yes, chompers. Um. More order. Yeah, that might be about right. There's not a lot of melee in this one. It's more of an aftershock thing. Aftershock's got all the stuff. Yes, sir. Well, I made it. Done, sir. So what's the word? How we doing here? Hey, what's that? Okay, it's still there on a bit of patrol. Yes, sir. What More next, orders. sir? What next, sir? Your order, sir. Should be a death bellows over here somewhere. Your throwing being very good. You might even have the throwing range to pick it off if we spot it. Oh shit, it's right there actually. No way, is your arm that bad? No way. How quick are you? Only good? Hmm. Yes, sir. Hmm? More orders. Your it doesn't orders, see sir. us, so I'm kind of tempted orders, just to like round the corner and blast it quick. What next, sir? While Meat Shield just does like a quick cartwheel across the map. Your orders, sir. You know? 
to getting close. Start your running, yeah, it's shooting like straight away at the worst possible angle. Spread out a little. How quickly this thing fires, man. Terrifying. Yeah, your arm is like really not good enough for this. How can I get there? Fall back. Yes, sir. You can maybe pick on it. Dude, you need to turn and run like now. I've spotted the enemy. Yeah, and there's the man of war, like right front and center. I guess work on that first. Did it reach? Not sure. Okay. Now what? Yes, sir. Uh Where can you go? <laughs> there, there might be like a really fine line for you to run here, but Request I don't know, man. Yeah, no, it's looking pretty hot and garbage. You're gonna have to... That's a really scary route, but you have to do something like that. This way definitely won't work. Now what? Hello, your sniper again. Your order, sir? You're working on the Man of War. KOR, get you around, you can work on it as well. Ready. And Shack Tack. Yeah, really rough chance, but try it's better than nothing. Under fire. Yeah, I know what you're running through, it's fine. Well, fine ish. You stand here, can you fire? Maybe. Maybe. And then you might be able to fire on it too. We just don't see it anymore. Alright. How you doing? You doing it? Just keep it up. Hearing a lot of sounds. We okay? Okay. We don't see him anymore. Finished. He's over there, though. You got the mana ward down? Well done. Uh -huh. You can keep working on those death bellows Your then. Order, and you've apparently also got an angle somehow. What a wild flank. Yes, Just make sure you, you know, keep shooting and stuff, because... Sir, I need a reload. You know. You'll uh -huh. figure it out. Dude, what a run. I'm surprised you're making it. What's your speed? Good. Good speed. Okay, and it's... It's dead. There might be, like, another bee coming out, but... You might be okay to stand here. And then... Yeah, you see it at least. Which means we can take shots at it. Yes, sir. Yeah, not quite with you. But up here, maybe a bit more. What next, Just sir? stand there and look at it. I went my order, sir. Yes, sir. Out of ammo, sir. He's dead now. Uh, and that's everything. We've cleared the map, therefore we win by default. Alright. Exit the mission. Two wounded, but nobody has to recuperate.
2000 experience. We gotta love a lot of it. Man, that wasn't good at all. That was really scary. <laughs> Don't make me do that again. <sighs> I know, man. What the fuck was that mission? A warning, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. That was nuts. A pilot in the opposite corner of the Arctic, filled with car crabs, death bellows, and a few chrysalis as well. Thankfully, the Man of Wars didn't really do a whole lot. Car crabs were able to kind of outrange. Yikes. Um. For shack attack. Maybe agility boosters speed up another notch. Or perception. Give you some more observation, actually. That'll be good. Okay, we've got... Because we did it by default, we got Rick, apparently, as the pilot. He is good speed. So at least there's that. He's kind of fucking terrible. But I can at least accept this mission now, and we'll head over there straight away. Oh, okay, we got this guy. This is the one that I was going to do, but we've just kind of got it by default, I guess. So it's cash. It's never really clear sometimes what goes on. <laughs> HKG11K5. It's a hard damage rifle. We've got... I don't think we found laser... pistols in it. More flamethrowers. And I think another suit of heavy armor. As well as a M79 grenade launcher. Throwing damage, universal damage type. And a collapsible machine gun. Collapsible machine guns. I remember being really good. I remember these being quite the tool. But I think this required you to have the cool heavy armor to have on. This turret offers the greatest firepower of all classical weapons available for use in missions. It's collapsible so that a single soldier can carry it on his back, but this burden makes him rather slow and easy to target, and the deployment of the turret takes a considerable amount of time. However, the cadence and range of the four-barrel turret are unmatched among classical guns. It is a launcher weapon. Its max range is tremendous at 63 meters. Um, ignore the aimed shot. Effective range of the burst, though, 24 meters. It can fire a lot further. Damage, 1500. Rate of fire, 1500. Yeah, 1500 rate of fire. Yeah. Um, it's an it's an odd one. It 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 deals a tremendous amount of damage. Okay, a yeah, fifteen hundred ten round of fire. Okay, I was gonna say fifteen hundred rounds per second is pretty fucking nuts for a burst fire, but no, it's fifteen hundred damage, ten rounds per second. Still a bunch of goddamn damage. Okay, good deal. Can you mount it on a helicopter blades? Hmm, that'd be worth trying. But, uh, yeah, heavy armor only. I thought so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is a launcher weapon type. So, uh, Zarendal maybe? Bane Ken maybe? Meat Shield? KOR. A few good candidates for it. New grenade launcher as well. Oh yeah, the new grenade launcher, the M79. Universal damage type. 280 damage. Range is quite okay. It's okay. It's nothing too like, holy shit, wild. But, eh, it's something. Yeah, new in quotes, yeah. And yeah, we got, we got the base just then. I'll leave it as a military base for the moment. That's cool to have, and if we can do this mission, That'd be really good. 